Good evening and welcome to Soul Sessions. My name is Lisa Ferrero. Soul Sessions comes to you as part of Soul Call Ministries. And to find out more about us, you can visit us at soulcallministries.org. Tonight, we welcome you into a special inner vision, May 20th, 2020, an inner vision evening of Soul Sessions with poetry, music, and silence, just weaving the three together to create an experiential opportunity for you to commune with the infinite source, with the divine, which resides within and without and in all things. Now, this evening, I'm really grateful to be sharing some music with you from Laura Berman, along with Andy Anderson, and some of the music that I created with Erika Luckett. So what is Soul Sessions? It's just music, meditation, and poetry. If you already are familiar with meditation and you have a posture you use, which you're comfortable using, do it. And if you haven't meditated before or if you're new, the periods of silent meditation you'll be happy to know will be brief. You know, the beauty of doing the soul session when it's already uh, recorded for you is you could just hit pause and take the opportunity to meditate longer. Something really gets you going in. So enjoy 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 in this time right now i know there's so much shift and change some of you are re-entering the workforce and getting out into the world and uh, maybe that's a little stressful could be if you need prayer you can send us a request at soulcallministries.org uh, or soulcall1 at gmail.com um, but we're here for you uh, internationally so just uh, give us your name and what it, what it might be that you have, whether it's body, mind, spirit. It doesn't even need to be specific. But just know that we will pray for you and with you in that field of infinite love, which connects all hearts and minds, even though our physical vehicles might be pretty far apart from one another on the globe somewhere. So I invite you to sink in. And if you have a meditation posture, use it. And here's one if you don't. Uh, just sit with your spine straight, with your feet flat on the floor. Palms turned upward at the juncture of the thighs and the abdomen. And chin parallel to the floor, which helps to open up the medulla oblongata region, the top part of your, your vertebrae, like where your spine and your brain connect in the back. And medulla oblongata is a word that means mouth of God. I'm going to say God. I'll say source. I'll say different things. But it knows what you're talking about. So and it knows what you're feeling which is mostly what we're after here is that awakening that feeling. So fill your heart with devotion. We've got feet flat on the floor, palms turned upward at the juncture of thighs and abdomen, spine straight. You could be seated in a chair with, without arms. Without arms on the chair <clears throat> is fine. With arms on the chair, that's fine too. As long as you can keep yourself straight without hindering your getting your spine straight. And, um, or you could sit cross-legged on the floor too, if you can do that for long periods of time and still stand up, that's all good. Lifting your eyes gently to the point between the eyebrows, the third eye region, that seat of cosmic consciousness, above the consciousness zone, your subconscious consciousness and superconscious. So we're lifting it up to connect with the eternal source, eternal energy, God, goddess, whatever you call it. Then we're gonna follow the breath. On the inhalation, we're gonna mentally chant, I am. And as you exhale, mentally chant, that I am. I am on the inhalation, that I am, as you exhale. And we're gonna observe the breath as if we are watching the body breathe itself. We're not trying to control the breath. It's not pranayama. It's just following the breath. We're not controlling it. We're just following it. I am that I am. And the trick to the meditation is when you find yourself thinking anything but I am that I am, just gently bring the mind back. Just gently bring it back to I am that I am. Allow yourself to go deeply in and know that Many others are, are meditating with you at the same time. There's great power in group meditation. And I'm going to open with a reading from Paramahansa Yogananda. His 
Meditation on Silence is one of my favorites. It's from a little book here called Metaphysical Meditations. My silence, like an ever-expanding sphere, spreads everywhere. My silence spreads like a radio song, above, beneath, left and right, within and without. My silence spreads like a wildfire of bliss. The dark thickets of sorrow and the tall oaks of pride are all burning up. My silence, like the ether, passes through everything, carrying the songs of earth, atoms, and stars into the halls of God's infinite mansion. Open wide my heart. Open wide my heart. Open wide my heart. Open wide my heart. Open wide my Open wide my Open wide Quieting the thieves. 
by Mark Nepo. Today I am sad, or so I thought. But more, I'm tired of keeping up with all that doesn't matter. I'm sipping coffee, listening to rain. I like watching leaves hang in long weather. I like to close my eyes and feel the rain quiet the earth. I welcome that quieting. I like to have my habits of going here and there interrupted. I was caught in the rain when coming here. The cool blotches sink in all over. The many lists I carry in my shirt are wet. I take them out to dry and all the tasks have blurred. At last, unreadable, forgettable, we carry these lists near our heart and finger them like worry beads. It doesn't matter what's on them. They are the thieves. And it is the insidious virtue to have everything in order before we live that is the greatest thief. I feel the rain drip down my neck. I think I'm becoming unfinished. Take this into the song, Quietude, inspired by the poetry of Dr. Maya Angelou, by her final tweet. And allow this to sink in like the drips of rain. If you listen to yourself in the quietude, you might hear the voice of God. If you listen to yourself in the quietude, You might hear the voice of God. Mm -hmm. If you listen to yourself in the quietude, you might hear the voice of God If you listen to yourself In the quietude You might hear the voice of God The voice of God voice of God you might hear the voice of God The voice of God, the voice of God, you might hear. If you listen to yourself in the quietude, you might hear the voice of God. 
If you listen to yourself in the quiet too. May you hear the voice of This is from the Tao Te Ching. Act without doing. Work without effort. Think of the small as large and the few as many. Confront the difficult while it is still easy. Accomplish the great task by a series of small acts. The master never reaches for the great, thus she achieves greatness. When she runs into a difficulty, she stops and gives herself to it. She doesn't cling to her, to her own comfort. Thus problems are no problems for her. Living large in a tiny square Broken pieces seem to lead nowhere Why do I feel that my life is just pretend? All my dreams stay way too small They lead me back to where I started from How can I move when I fear what lies ahead? more than what I see. Each step brings me closer to free. Yeah, yeah. I realize, I realize it's all inside of me. I realize, I realize there are no between you and me and this holy word. You and me and this holy word. And I realize now that with each new day I see my life getting bigger with less 
my choice now to leave or just give in. And every morning I give thanks, amen, to all the growth I've experienced. And I've become the dream that's worth believing. But there's more than what I see. Intimate with Everything by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Love all God's creation, the whole and every grain of sand in it. Love every leaf, every ray of God's light. Love the animals, love the plants, love everything. If you love everything, you will perceive the divine mystery in things. Once you perceive it, you will begin to understand it better every day. And you will come at last to love the whole world with an all-embracing love. If you love everything, you will perceive the divine mystery in things. Once you perceive it, you will begin to understand it better every day. And you will carry at last the love, which is an all embracing love.
Presence by Richard Rohr from his book, Eager to Life. The finite manifests the infinite and the physical is the doorway to the spiritual. All we need is right here and right now. This is the way to that. Heaven includes earth. Time opens up to the timeless. Space opens you up to spacelessness. If you only take them for the clear doorways that they are. There are not sacred and profane things, places and moments. It is one sacred universe and we are all part of it. Our only blindness is our own lack of fascination, humility, curiosity, awe, and willingness to be allured forward. See the morning sun shining in the sky. Surrounded by love and grace 
It's up to me to be the best I can be. And I'm so glad to know I'm free to see the best of you and me. And know that I Now, friends, it's time for our healing service and our healing prayer. This is the part of soul sessions where we give from this overflow of love and healing light, this pulsating vibration of joy, of goodness that we're feeling in ourselves. We can bring others into our consciousness and send them light, healing light, to help them through any challenge they might be experiencing, whether it be of body, mind, or soul spirit so if you would repeat after me O oh, infinite divine beloved thou art in me thou art in all manifest thy healing presence in their bodies Let's rub our hands together and bringing to your consciousness physical manifestation representation of this human being no matter where they are in the world um, just picture them in front of you, lighting them up as bright light pillar of light, teeming with light. Send them all the light of the universe through the antenna of your fingers. We're going to raise our hands above our heads. Let's chant Om for the body. Oh. Let us pray. O oh, infinite divine beloved, thou art in me, thou art in all. Manifest thy healing presence in their minds. We're going to rub our, roll our hands together. Just getting up that energy, feel it in your cells, feel it in your body. It's time we're going to raise the vibration of the planet. I always like to think of people getting caught in the crossfire of this great energy, just be walking along all of a sudden, be like, whoa, what was that? What was that? 
All right, we're gonna raise our hands above our heads. <laughs> and let's chat. Om for the mind. Oh. Oh, infinite divine beloved. Thou art in me. Thou art in all. Manifest thy healing presence in their souls. We're going to go back to rubbing our hands together and just doing a little jump start, like a spark of the soul. Sometimes we just need a soul reminder so that we can get ourselves going again. And this is, these healing prayers come from Paramahansa Yogananda and um, so powerful. You can just feel it. So we're going to raise our hands above our heads. Let's chant Om for the soul. Oh. Let's chat one more great big ohm for world peace, healing, inspiration, calmness, peace through this time for all the planet, every, every human and every sentient being, all of it, all forms of life, all is God. Let us just chant Om for world peace, harmony, and love. Oh. And before Andy Anderson takes us uh, out with his beautiful song, It's Only Love, I want to thank you for joining us for Soul Sessions, May 20th, 2020, for that inner vision. And may it spill forth in, in your life. If you'd like to find out more about us, you can check us out online at soulcallministries.org. And it is your donations that help us keep these productions going. And we also give back to our community here in Columbus, Ohio. But we're doing things to help people in your communities around the globe. So your contributions help your community. So we appreciate your tithes and your generous donations. And you can donate to us at soulcallministries.org slash give or soulcallministries.org slash donate. If you go to our website, there are plenty of opportunities. We'll see you on Sunday for Soul Call Sundays. And uh, that starts at nine o'clock in the morning on Sundays. So much fun. Peace and blessings. And may this peace in your cells carry you forth for the rest of the week. Thank you for joining us on Wisdom Wednesday with Soul Sessions. My name is Lisa Ferrero. Peace, love, and many blessings to you. Mm -hmm.